have been hacking on bug bounties since 2012, 2013, almost 10 years now, maybe a little bit over 10 years. And I've been making content on how to get started in bug bounty indirectly to help people get into the scene. But I've never actually made a piece of content on how to exactly jump into bug bounties. Not because I didn't want to, but because I assumed there were enough resources and it turns out people still want to see a video on this. Well, before we jump into the video, I want to tell you a little bit about me. And then later in the video, I'm going to give you some free resources, things that you should learn, and then give you my advice as someone who's done this for years and give you some call to action, things you should do before you jump into it. So hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Ben. Most people online know me as Nahamsek. I've been doing bug bounties for a while. I've hacked into hundreds of companies like Uber, Airbnb, Lyft, Snapchat, the Department of Defense, Red Bull, Apple, a bunch more. I got into bug bounties not only because I wanted to make a little bit of income, but my goal was to eventually get a job right out of college and be able to become an engineer of some sort, which <laughs> didn't work out the way I wanted it to, took a detour. But the main goal was I wanted to learn, leverage bug bounties from my resume and get a job. My background wasn't in security. I went to a university where I learned how to program in Java. There were no real web apps stuff to practice, no real security program. I just learned the basics of computers and then eventually heard about bug bounties and made it my mission to learn more and more about hacking and web hacking through it because it sounded like a cool next thing to do. Well, in the beginning days, there weren't a lot of resources. There were some bug bounty programs, but at first when I got into it, I had the knowledge of hacking from being a kid, but I never applied them in the real world. It was just seeing things, reading about them, but never actually doing it. So my background again was complete total noob. And eventually with bug bounties, I was able to learn different bone types and put those into work and make some money. I tell you all this because I wanted to show you my background on how it was. And it was just that I wanted to learn. And my end goal was to get a job or get out of college and do something with my life. And honestly, I think you can do the same as well. So like I said earlier, for this video, I'm gonna give you a bunch of free resources and tell you why you should learn these things. And then I'm gonna give you some honest advice that I really hope could help you go far with your journey in web hacking and bug bounties. As I mentioned earlier, there are a ton of good free resources. There are a ton of content creators like Farah, Stoke, Insider PhD, Codingo, Bug Bounty Explained, PhD Security, and Jason Haddix, to name a few, that have made great content on how to get into bug bounties or have created content that's focused on bug bounties that you should definitely check out. Go on YouTube, look them up. I'll link them down below in the description as well. But that should be your number one resource to go on there and learn from other people that are actually doing the things that you want to do. Outside of learning those things and hearing from other people, I highly recommend doing some hands-on trainings or CTFs. The first one that I really like to do and I recommend to anybody trying is Pico CTF. This isn't one of those CTFs where you just learn how to exploit things, but they also give you knowledge of things that you may use in your day-to-day -day hacking. Again, this is not only just about exploitation, but they also teach you things like using the DOM, using curl, regex, headers, and all these different things that play a role when it comes down to approaching a web application. This is a great resource because it teaches you to pay attention to small details and it gives you a good fundamental and foundation of things that you're gonna use eventually in your hacking in your day to day. But I understand that you wanna learn how to hack, you wanna learn how to exploit and find web vulns. And a great resource for that is also Website Academy by Portswigger, people behind Burp Suite. I highly recommend looking at their websites in their catalog of articles and how to guides. The good thing about this site is that not only they're giving you articles to read and teach you the basics of hacking based on the vulnerability types. And these things range from XSS to XSS bypass to CSRF, SSRF. And on top of all that, they give you different challenges you can learn. And that just gives you a hands-on experience to learn a specific topic and know how to look for it in a real web application. And honestly, if you spend the time to go through all their labs, there's no way you're not going to learn things that are going to be easy to leverage when it comes down to web application and bug hunting. So that's a good place to learn the web exploits, how to look for them, understand them, but you want to also practice looking for these vulnerabilities in an actual application. If that's where Hacker 101 comes in, I highly recommend also going to Hacker 101. It's maintained and created by Hacker One itself. And the cool thing about it is they give you these small applications that you can hack on and you don't know what bugs you're looking for and it becomes more of a realistic practice versus knowing this is the challenge, this is the bug type, go look for it. 
And on top of it all, once you hack on these applications through Hacker 101 and you find enough flags or you exploit enough vulnerabilities that give you a flag, you submit those to Hacker 101's website. And once you accumulate enough points, they send you an invite to a private bug bounty program where you can hack on and actually try these on a real world target and a company that's hosted on Hacker One's bug bounty platform. We'll talk about the specific invites in maybe another video or maybe down the road when I give you my advice on how to do bug bounties. But again, it's a great place to learn and also it gives you a chance to earn some money and get put into a pool of invites on Hacker One directly. And of course, last but not least, on the topic of free resources, I mentioned YouTube channels. Another great way to learn is honestly from peers, whether it's looking at the activity on Hacker One. I think Bug Crowd has one that's called CrowdStream. You can go read those, look at the write ups, go on Twitter, follow some folks that are doing bug bounties. To name a few, there are people like Sam, aka ZLZ, Brett, as known as Zayed, Running Raider, or Justin, and also Vicky Lee. They all have really, really good content in the form of a blog post, whether it's how to look for vulnerabilities or they're breaking out really, really cool concept into a written form. And I highly recommend looking into them and finding other people that you enjoy reading and learning from. But on the topic of learning, there's also the question about mentorship. I get a lot of comments about, hey, do I need a mentor? Will you be my mentor? Who's someone to be a good mentor? And honestly, those are all valid questions and concerns to have. So in my opinion, there are three types of mentor you need in your life. One is someone who's already doing things that you want to do. This is someone that's way ahead of you. They're doing these things day to day. This could be a content creator. This could be a bug bounty hunter that creates content posts about it, tweets about it, makes written blog posts, go follow them and learn from them indirectly. And don't be shy to message them or tweet at them and ask them questions. But when you ask those questions, make them very, very specific. Two is someone that is at your level, someone that either knows as much as you do or maybe a little bit more where you can teach each other and learn from one another and collaborate and become better. Collaboration is really huge and it was a big part of my day-to-day -day and big part of my growth as a bug bounty hunter and hacker. So again, find someone in that level, collaborate, say, hey, let's look at this target together. They can teach you the things that they know, their approach to bug bounty, how they approach the target, and you can return a favor and do the same for them. And you put the two together and become really, really good at hacking and bug bounties together. And also it gives you a friend and someone that you can share the highs and the lows of your journeys together. That person for me was Brett, aka Zayed. I'm forever grateful for meeting that guy. That was how we learned a lot from each other. And I cannot stress that enough. You need someone to collaborate with. And last but not least, I think it's really good to have somebody who's learning. Maybe they know a little bit less than you do. The point of this is to teach someone. And I'm not saying to teach someone because you want to become a mentor, but you can't say you know a topic and you understand it really well unless you can actually teach it to somebody else and make him also understand it. And of course, this gives you someone to collaborate with. But honestly, the best part is you're making an impact on someone else's life and you get to actually learn these things at a deeper level because you actually are able to explain them and help somebody else to understand and learn them from you. That's my approach to mentorship. I've taken a similar approach to this. I didn't have someone mentoring me, but I use other people's content. I followed a lot of good hackers on Twitter, learned their approach, read their content, and then I became friends with Zayed and other hackers and started collaborating with them as well. And then I met hackers like Zayed, Smeagol's, IT Security Guard, Arnie, NT, a bunch of other people. We created a Slack group. So that was my approach and it really, really helped. We had a group of people to help each other and to learn from one another. So that's it. That was my approach to mentorship. If you find people that you can work with, you can learn from them, teach them. It's a great place to collaborate and also become better as a hacker and have an impact on someone else's life. And I did exactly that. I read people's write-ups. I found people on Twitter. And I also created a group with people like Zayed, Smeagol's, Arnie, NT, to name a few, and we all just learn from each other. And then later on, when I got into YouTube content creation, it's when I learned a lot because I had to teach people like you guys, because I had to teach people on YouTube how to do these things, and it helped me learn things at a deeper level. And last but not least, I want to give you some good advice. These are the things that I wish I knew before I got started. I'm going to do a whole episode on this thing. There's a more advice that I want to give you, but at a high level, there's a few things that I think you should know before you dive into doing bug bounties. Set up some goals. Create some metrics, know how you're going to get there. This is what I'm going to learn and this is how I'm going to measure it. It doesn't have to be monetary. It could be, I want to learn XSS and I'm going to find three cost high stripping vulnerabilities on vuln disclosure programs or bug bounty programs. Get really, really good at a few bugs, whether it's XSS, IDOR, SSRF. Those are the things that I recommend because they're easy to look for and there's so many variations and so many different ways to bypass them that you can easily find those vulnerabilities. 
but become really, really good at those things because you want to build momentum to find vulnerabilities and then start learning and becoming better at those other things that you can perform and look for while you're hunting for bugs. So the whole point is to know some of these vulnerabilities really, really well, build yourself momentum, be able to find bugs. And as you're doing this, you're learning and finding more vulnerabilities and becoming better as a hacker. So don't try to do everything at once, become really, really good at some vuln types. You want to be able to identify those, know where to look for them, how to look for them and so on. And last but not least, forget about automation, forget about tooling and I'll tell you why. When you rely on tools, it makes you lazy and it takes the aspect of learning the concepts of finding vulnerabilities and how they work completely away from you. No Nucle, no HTTPX, nothing. Your goal right now should be to pick a target that's large enough. I liked Airbnb when it was small because they had a lot of different roles, different applications, micro apps, different user interactions, you name it. And I went at it and dug very deep. If you can't do that, you want to go to a BDP, which I highly recommend. I recommend looking for IBM, DOD, GM, Ford, and look for easy applications through Google. Look for sites that have registrations. You can type in Google, uh, type in site, Ford.com. And then you are a register, find applications that allow you to register because this allows you to interact with other users. Maybe it has PIIs, maybe you can look for IDRO, you can file upload, it has different functionalities and really, really dig deep into this application. And then once you have done a few days and you really can't find any vulnerabilities, you move on to the next application within that target. So again, find one target that works for you, find a list of applications, preferably bigger application, focus on them, find vulnerabilities, rinse and repeat, until you get into a private bug bounty program. The whole purpose of me telling you to do a VDPs is I want you to find bugs. I want you to become better at identifying these vulnerabilities and doing so and getting a few valid bugs will push you into HackerOne or bug crowds in that algorithm. The whole goal of this practice is to get you into the algorithm that will feed you invites where you can either take the invite or tell HackerOne or bug crowd, hey, I don't want this invite and they will automatically invite you to another program in the next 24 hours. And honestly, it takes one program and one invite where you get invited to a program where you find a ton of bugs, make a couple thousand dollars, a couple hundred bucks, and then they invite you to more programs and you rinse and repeat until you go higher, higher and higher in that bracket. But the whole goal is it honestly takes one really good program to get invited to and crushing it and then becoming a part of that entire algorithm. All right, I think that was it. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover with bug bounty hunting and how to get started in bug bounties. Do me a favor, if you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button. It would help me tremendously. I would really appreciate it. You can like this video if you like content like this. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And last but not least, if you want to support the channel, I have memberships. You can go on YouTube. You can become a member. It would give you access to exclusive content, early content, and it would also help me run this channel and make more content. All right, that's it. See you in the next video.